again, it was a document that was relied on, and that's the thing. People aren't asking me to consider it being part of a, as a Bible or a man of what they are using it as a reference for whenever there is an issue within the building, yes. that this is a document that we should rely on in terms of who is responsible for what. And I have to say, that is my issue with the Common Property Memorandum. It is taken as gospel. Uh, it should be correct. It should correctly list responsibilities in accordance with the strata legislation. It doesn't in some parts, this dividing fences reference being one of them. And it is frustrating for owners, absolutely, when they want to rely on that document, whether they've adopted it as a bylaw or not, and give it to their lawyer or to their strata manager and say, but hang on, this is what the common property memorandum says. And we say, well, that's wrong. Um, what good is a document that is supposed to make things easier if it's not correct?